Hey guys, we are back with some more Moto Eastside Hockey Manager, and in this one we have the Round Robin Tournament. To start things out, we have games against Oscar Sham, Soto Talia, Vostrovic, Carl Skrona, and Bjork Lovin. So let's get right to it, not wasting any time. We have to win ma the majority of these games if we want any chance at winning this Round Robin Tournament. So after the first period against Oscar Sham, we are tied on goals by two goals by Schmidt Svedstrup. He is still actually currently injured, but his condition is 90%, so he's pretty much uh, good to go. Should be ready to go in a couple of days completely. And then Rosdahl for Oscar Sham, so one of our former players scoring on us. And second period time, there you go. Rimshaw with the goal from Bresnev and Dyke on the power play. And the third period, there you go. Schmidt Svedstrup with a hat trick from Miller. They get a power play goal to try to get back into it, but they cannot nonetheless. And we win 4-3 in game number one of the round robin tournament. And yep, there it is. He is back from his kidney injury full time. So now what we will do is we will get him back on the power play and we will also get him back onto the first line. So we'll actually, we'll just do clear all lines and ask coach. So here we go. Game against Soto Talia, First period. And that'll be a goal for Berglund and a goal for Carlson for them. We're tied 1-1 going into the second, second period. Ooh, don't like to see those three goals there. But Rimshaw with a goal from Schmidt Svestrup and Sixna. Third period, we need a huge comeback here. And we got it for a moment, but they came right back with a goal to make it 5-4. And then another one into the empty net to make it 6-4 being the final score. Let's hope that is our only loss of the tournament. Because if we get another loss, then our likelihood of winning is not too good. And the player of the month is Philip Lindblad of Oscar Sham. And the rookie of the month is Joel Pedersen of Pantern. And so I unknowingly just simulated past the game against Vostrovic. And I didn't notice until it was too late. But nonetheless, we won. They had a goal in the second period from Sobrink. But then Winkvist scores from Dyke and Nasland. Then we get a goal from Janssen. On the power play from Dyke and Johansson. And then Janssen into the empty net once again from Johansson and Rimshaw. Okay, not going to make the same mistake again. We will view this game against Carl Skrona. Come on, boys. We need this win. First period. There you go. Nice first period. Goals by Miller from Larson. And then Naslin from Norberg and Winkvist. Sunman gets a goal for them. But Schmidt Svestrup gets a goal for us from Rimshaw and Johansson on the power play. Second period. There you go, Schmidt's fetched up again from Janssen and Rimshaw. And the third period, there you go, Schmidt's fetched up with a hat trick once again from Janssen and Norberg. Boyu gets a goal for them on the power play, but Lindbergh from Miller and Larson. And we take the 6-2 to two victory. Ooh, okay, so this is a critical, absolutely critical final game here against Bjorklaven because we and Bjorklaven are the only teams that are left that can win this round robin and our final game just happens to be against them so whoever wins this game wins the round robin the stakes could not be any higher here so we're gonna go into this game of course and first period Oof. four to one after one we're gonna need a huge comeback in the second period come on boys Ugh. yeah it's not happening <laughs> there's, there's no way it's happening Third period, and we got two, but they got another one. Winkvist from Janssen, and then Naslin from Winkvist and Jinning. But that is all she wrote. <laughs> so with that, I believe our offseason starts now. So Pantern has been relegated once again. Troya Lungby has avoided relegation. Sunsfall has been promoted to the SHL. And Bjorklovin will be facing Vastaraz in a playoff battle. And the Allsvenskan leading score is... None other than our own Drake Rimshaw. The player of the year is Anton Wadin of Lulia. The best defenseman is Lulia's Jesper Lindgren. The best goaltender is Adam Riedeborn of Lulia. Best forward is Anton Wadin of Lulia. So Lulia has a lot of good players there. Rookie of the year is Alex Nasland of Your Moto Hockey. And Nasland acknowledges his general manager's contribution. And the coach of the year is, of course, Lulia's Roger Hansen. So we are now on May 1st and we have to sign all of our players once again for the upcoming year. As obviously we take a look at our roster, no one's on it. So we're going to have to 
go after our big players first, the players we know we want back, and that would include Jacob Schmidt Svestrup. He was very good for us last year, definitely our best player. Unfortunately, he had a little injury there towards the end of the year, but definitely want him back. And he's only asking for 163000 so we'll definitely give him, as a matter of fact, we'll give him 180000 just to make sure that he signs, because he was very good for us last year. I'll give him 10000 as a signing bonus. We've also approached Mellon and Mullen as a couple of backup players. They were on our roster last year, but they never dressed. We will also attempt to sign Edgar Sixna once again. He was very good for us last year. Nine points and a 706 average rating as a defenseman. He's got some pretty good ratings there, so we will try to sign him as long as he's not too expensive. And he doesn't look it. Uh, yeah, no, he only costs 49000 We'll give him 55000 and a $5,000 signing bonus just to make sure he signs. We also signed Tom Lindbergh. He had 13 points for us last year and a 658 average rating. So he was pretty good. Looks like a promising prospect. We will give him a contract. And he's very cheap as well, so that makes it that much better. So we'll give him 20000 for one year and a $5,000 signing bonus. We also definitely want to get Sebastian Dyke back. He was very good for us last year, 42 points and a 752 average rating. And he appears to only want 73,000 in cash. So we will definitely do that for him and 5,000 in signing bonuses. I also want to bring back Adam Jenning. He had a 688 average rating last year and 14 points. He's a pretty good player, so we will Give him a contract as long as he's not too expensive. And he's asking for 180 k I won't go higher than that, but I'll give him a 20000 signing bonus. Definitely want Kelly Johansson back. He had 18 points last year and a 717 average rating. One of our best defensemen. Definitely got to get him back on board. We'll give him a contract. Uh, he's He wants a lot. <laughs> he does want a lot. I'll see if I can take him down a little bit. And I'll give him more of a signing bonus. We also definitely got to sign Joseph Janssen. He had a phenomenal year for us. 53 points in 52 games played. A 752 average rating. Definitely got to get him back on board as well. No, not tryout. Approach to sign. 250k for you. And I'll give you 20,000 as a signing bonus. I'd also sign Ludwig Larsson if he's cheap. Because he had a 681 average rating last year and 19 points. And he wants 119000 I'll give him 130000 And 8000 signing bonus. Definitely got to get Alex Naslin back. He was our rookie of the year last year. He had 38 points in 52 games. Of course, a lot of those came from the start of the season. But nonetheless, he still had a very good season. So we'll offer him a contract and I'll give him 160 k And a signing bonus of 20000 Victor Olsen. Now, he did have a good year last year. But definitely not this past year with that 86 save percentage. But that being said, if he's cheap, we'll definitely re-sign him. And yes, he is. So we'll give him 70000 for one year and a $5,000 signing bonus. Definitely got to get David Mikowski back. He has been nothing but solid for us his entire career so far. So we will give him another year as a core player. And he wants 128 k we will give him 130 k and a $5,000 signing bonus. Cameron McDonald was also good on the back end last year with 19 points and a 719 average rating. He's one of our better younger defensemen, so we'll get him back on board. And he's pretty cheap as well, so we'll give him 70 k and 5000 as a signing bonus. Now, I'd love to get Drake Rimshaw back, but I have a feeling he's going to cost quite a bit as we give him a key player role. Yeah, he does want quite a bit of money. So I wouldn't be opposed to going after him again, but we're going to hold off on him for right now just to make sure that we have enough money. Now we're going to assign Daniil Boresnev. He had 23 points for us last year and a 698 average rating. So we will give him a contract here as a core player and we'll give him 100 k and I'll take him to 5000 in signing bonuses. So now we are also going to sign Max Miller. He was pretty good for us last year, 21 points and a 698 average rating and he his contract isn't that bad. He wants $159,000. I'll give him $170,000, and I'll take him up to $10,000 in signing bonus just to ensure he signs. Eric Forsberg. Now, I definitely want to sign him. Once again, as long as he is worth his price, and he appears that he is. He was only asking for $128K. I'll give him $140K, and we'll give him a $10,000 signing bonus as well. I also want Philip Norberg back. He was pretty good for us last year with that 702 average rating and 17 points on the back end. Even though he's only five foot seven, he was still pretty good. 
So we'll give him a contract. If he wants 170K, I'll give him 180K and 5,000 in signing bonuses. And last but not least is Jacob Winkman. So we are going to give him a contract. He is a key player for us. And we'll give him 200K and 20,000 in signing bonuses. Okay, so now that we have gone through the entire list of players for players who I want to sign in the first round of signings, we will approach Drake Rimshaw as I do feel comfortable with the amount of money that we have. So I'll give him 300,000 and I'll give him an extra signing bonus of 50,000 just to make up for not having as much salary on there. And he's got all the bonuses he wants. There you go. So out of free agency, I really like Igor Larson here. He's 16 years of age and he's already got a really developed mental category as well as developed technical categories, especially with stick handling there at 77 and his stats. I mean, he is proven at the U16 level. Let's see if he can prove himself as a good player in the Allsvensk. And we'll give him 150K and a $20,000 signing bonus. I'd also like to pick up a young goaltender here, Marcus Nystrom. He's 17 years of age. We don't know all of his attributes, but he looks to be pretty good. So we will approach to sign him and we'll give him 110000 and a $16,000 signing bonus. Sixna is back. Janssen is back. Mikowski is back. Boresnev and Miller are also back. Kelly Johansson is back. Schmidt Svestrup is back. Norberg is back. Victor Olsen is back. Adam Jenning is back. Sebastian Dyke is back as well. Cameron McDonald, Jacob Winkvist, and Drake Rimshaw are all back. Ludwig Larsson is back. Eric Forsberg and Alex Nasland are all back. So we're still waiting on Mullen, Mellon, Lindbergh, Larsson, and Nystrom. But it looks like everyone else has signed with either us or another team. So let's see what our roster is looking like so far. We have two goaltenders, Forsberg and Olsen, both back. Defensively, we have six defensemen. We're going to need at least, I'm going to say, three or four more. Forward-wise, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need three more to fill out the rest of the forward core, plus three extras. So six more forwards, four more defensemen, and then one more goaltender. And then, obviously, we're still waiting on Mellon, Mollen, Lindbergh, Larson, and Nystrom. So that'll take care of the goaltender if we can... Get Nystrom, that will take care of two of the six forwards that we need and two of the four defensemen that we need. And a little update on the payroll, we're currently at 2.6 million, so we do have a little bit more room to play around with. Though nothing too expensive, so I, I've been looking at this guy here, Ludwig Bystrom, and it appears he was actually with Moto earlier on in his career. Not with us, but nonetheless he was with Moto at one point. And it looks like he's a pretty good point-scoring defenseman. He's not great with the average rating, but he is serviceable. So I definitely want to try to sign him. He's a key player, and he doesn't want that much salary. So we'll give him 230 k and we'll give him a 30000 signing bonus. Now let's try to sign Oscar Lindbergh. He's also obviously played in the NHL, and he's also played in the Swedish Second League with Tingsrid before. He was with Lulia last season. Uh, he's with Oribro the year before, and he's had nothing but sevens for the average ratings, and he's scored his fair share of points as well. So as long as he doesn't want too much money, he wants 255k. If we can take him down to 250, and then boost his signing bonus up to 20,000, I think we'll be able to get him. We're also going to sign a couple of guys from our J20 team, including Valen Widmark. We will just get him as some depth, so 20,000 for one year. We'll also get Lars Goran Seymour. He's 18 years of age. We will sign him to a regular player contract at $25,500. And we will also sign Hassan Bengtsson. He's 18 years of age on our J20 team. And we'll give him $17,000. So here we're going to try to sign this guy, Victor Alia Krinsky. I'm surprised I actually managed to pronounce that with a reasonable guess at least. Uh, as opposed to just completely jumbling up the letters. But nonetheless... Uh, he looks pretty good. He's only 19 years of age. He's got some pretty good offensive attributes. His history isn't the greatest, but he's only 19 years of age, so I figure we will give him a shot as long as he did, does not want too much money. And he he wants quite a bit, but we, we'll see if we can take him down to 250k, and then we'll boost his signing bonus up to 50k. 
And yeah, we'll leave all his bonuses in clauses. Let's see if he accepts that. And there is Igor Larson. He has joined on with your Moto Hockey. And we have signed Hassan Bankson from our J20 team. We have also signed Tom Lindbergh and Oscar Lindbergh. So the two Lindberghs signing back to back. We have also signed Valon Widmark from our J20 team. We have signed Lars Goran Seymour from our J20 team as well. So it appears we are just waiting on Ludwig Bystrom. So it looks like there were a couple of players who did not sign with us. So here we will be signing the defenseman Ole Elsing. He's got some pretty good attributes on him. He's got a pretty good history. And he's cheap. So we'll give him 180 k and a $20,000 signing bonus. So here we will try to sign Nicholas Watt. He's a pretty good all-around player. He's got some decent history on him. So we will approach to sign him. He wants 240 k and we will give him just that and a $20,000 signing bonus. Here we're going to sign Wilhelm Lada as our third string goaltender, just as a, basically as a emergency sort of thing. <laughs> I don't think we'll be using him at all. Only if we get an injury to one of our goaltenders. So we'll give him 30000 and a $4,000 signing bonus. And now we will try to sign Anton Carlson. He's got some pretty good hitting and checking on him. Good teamwork and work rate. And a pretty good history as well. He's been able to maintain somewhere around a 7 average rating for the majority of his career. So we will sign him as a key player and we'll give him 200000 and a $20,000 signing bonus. And we have signed Nicholas Waugh. Ole Alsing has also signed. We get Anton Carlson. And unfortunately we did not get Bystrom. He, he accepted an offer from Malmo, I'm guessing in the SHL. Now we will sign Mentor Jacobson from our J20 team and Theodore Odland as well. We have signed Lada, we have signed Jacobson, and we have signed Odland. And we have no more future transactions, which means our roster is now set going into next year. So that'll be about it for this one. And the next one, we will start out year number seven. And if we can't get it done next year, then I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Let's hope for a good year. See you guys then.